Now, there's a couple of problems at the moment on the farm. Welcome back to the farm. Now, yesterday, we did our contracting job, which was carting that muck away. That was a good job which was done, and I can now send the invoice out, and we can get paid for doing that job. And also, if you could give this video a thumbs up, appreciate the thumbs up. You guys give the thumbs up, I can make more videos. Really appreciate what you're doing there. Now, there's a couple of problems at the moment on the farm. Number one, we've got the Massey Ferguson here, which I was informed this morning uh, that Kevin from Norfolk Tractoration cannot do this restoration job as he's now changed careers, or he's changing his job at the moment. So, uh, due to the current crisis and the lockdown of the pandemic, so unfortunately, we can't get the Massey Ferguson 135 restored. So, I've, I've uh, rang somebody else today who I was just speaking to about some interesting things. We're gonna be doing some great things uh, with, the, with this chap who I was speaking to and uh, he's, he's a machinery chap and he actually uh, is going to be getting me a new contact for somebody who's uh, going to restore this tractor. They're, they're actually quite well known, they're a father and son team and I really hope that we can get in with them and we can get this done because I think you, you guys would really enjoy the duo, this, this father and son team. So something to look forward to. I couldn't have predicted a global pandemic for that tractor not to be restored, so it's just one of those things. So, as a lot of you guys have been saying in the comments, the 5.5 has been neglected. We haven't given it a wash, which is true. It hasn't had a wash for a good couple of months now. So we'll take it out to the front and we'll wash it off today because it is something which is, you know, it does need a good clean off. I'm not going to beat around the bush, so. And yeah, it is a shame about the 1.5, but we will get there. Hopefully, fingers crossed. This is the third tractor restorer I'm on now, so this father and son team will hopefully do it. because it get, gets all greasy and, and it sticks into the paint. So, just a little mitt like this, ideal.
not ideal. Somebody nicked the, uh, somebody took the tail of water whilst we were just washing this one off. So I'll clean the loader off tomorrow, finish doing that, and we'll put this away tonight because it's getting a bit dark. Right, there we go there. And hopefully, it's a little bit cleaner, but haven't done the best job in the world, but tried to just tidy it up. And now you guys can't say, I don't clean the tractor because I do. I do try to keep it clean where I can. She's a beauty. She's a beauty. Only thing is we scuffed this wheel the other day just around the yard. And also as well, we've got some rusty pipes there from muck and stuff. But she's a workhorse. She's a workhorse. She's got to be used to do jobs. She's a working tractor. So yeah, maybe I'll get those little things touched up at some point. Who knows? So you can walk away and the lights light up your way home. Uh, it's a good little idea. But yeah, there's the crew. I want, to, I want to, this week as well, either tomorrow or on Saturday, we've got a new field to cultivate and I'm gonna do it a little bit differently because I'm a bit disappointed actually with what I did last time. The packer has worked down the land too much and now we've got quite a bit of soil erosion. I'll show you what I mean in tomorrow's video. And what we're gonna do is take the packer off, take the discs off, and then we're going to split the cultivator in the middle and we're going to leave the ground nice and rough and I'm going to change the angles of the cultivators to try and go deeper. So that's going to be quite fun uh, and hopefully it'll work quite well. I've got, got the horsepower to do it, so you know, soil erosion is a, is a big problem on this sandy farm. I can't tell you how nice that is at the end of the day walking past the clean deer. <laughs> Dave, come on. And there we go, another day even done with. So uh, this morning, I forgot to tell you guys actually, we, um, the, yeah, this morning an earnest doe lorry turned up from, from Doe's and we loaded it up. With now the camera died there, so I'm just back home. And this morning, <laughs> as I was trying to say, uh, they picked up the bucket, the old one we had for the front loader, uh, actually from back in the JCB days, and the buck rake, the muck fork, the big long one, which Dad likes. It hasn't got a grab button or anything, it's got some bent tines. Anyway, that's gonna be changed for the Manitou. So they picked that up today, and then hopefully they'll come back next week so we can use that old bucket just for the wood chip. And I was also speaking today, as I said earlier on in today's video, to a new machinery chap uh, who I'm, I'm just speaking to about some attachments for the, the Manitou. So we need a couple of things, we need a bucket, and I'm really, keen to get a hold of a bale handler so I really need one of those and I've been looking at two different types so one is a squeezing bale handler so it's got two sides on it and then the other one is a uh, underneath bale handler but then it, it's also got spikes which you can take off as well if you know what I mean so a bit complicated I know but uh, I'll try and put some pictures on the screen so you can see what I'm on about so if I can get hold of either one of those that would be great because I've got the Tanko I've got the 50 horsepower tractor coming to go on the Tanko run the wrapper, got the Manitou to load the wrapper. Now I just need the attachments. And also something else which would be very handy is a man cage, because the yellow man cage uh, was broken by Malcolm, who also works on the farm with us, and that got bent. And now the welding company don't want to fix the man cage because of health and safety, which is fair enough. So I've got to get a new man cage. Um, and then the other thing which I was after was a twin bale spike, ideally with two spikes one up and down would be quite nice because you can pick them up really quickly in the field unload a trailer quickly picking up two at a time it's been such a while since i've been able to pick up two at a time properly without the muck grab so it'll be nice to have hopefully a decent attachment for a change um, that's that's what you need really when you start doing more bales you want to do it properly and you want to do it safely as well and you'll find out tomorrow how i got on cleaning the manatee because when i was washing the manatee today Dad took the manatee because he had to go and load the biomass, he had to go off uh, loading chips. So um, I'll clean it off tomorrow morning and you guys will see what sort of a job I did of that. It is a little bit difficult this time of the year washing machinery because you're washing machines and literally the next day they're messy again. 
Um, but today I had a bit of time this afternoon and a, a, a bit of space now and then. It just pays, I think, just to keep them clean, to keep them tidy. Um, otherwise, like at the front of the John Deere, you get bits rusting up, you get bits, bits of paint falling off. Um, you know, look after the machines and they'll look after you. That's what I've always been told. And, you know, I think that's probably a good um, rule to live by. And then I'll straight back out in the morning, got the calves to do in the morning, the big calves, the young calves, all of that sort of stuff. Split the cultivator, get that field hopefully done. It'll probably be raining tomorrow, so I won't be able to work that field. It might be later on um, next week as things dry up at this time of the year. And then also get on the phone about that 50 horsepower tractor, get those attachments sorted. And then also I've got a couple of new contracts coming in, which I'll talk to you guys about in tomorrow's video. So lots happening, looking forward to it. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I will 